Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Kyrie here in our video, <clears throat> and today I will be reviewing the WWE Elite Series 40 Flashback Umaga. I just got this figure in the mail from WrestlingFigures.com um, uh, today. It was supposed to be a Christmas present, but for some reason, uh, my parents chose to give it to me early. So here's my early Christmas present: the Elite 40 Umaga. To be honest with you, this is a figure I never, ever, ever thought we would ever get. When Omaga passed away, I never thought we would get another figure. But thank you, Mattel. Thank you, Mattel. We finally got a Mattel Umaga. When this was shown off at Ringside Fest, I exploded with excitement. I mean, this figure is amazing. But sadly, the head scan does not top the Jax one that I have. As far as the expression goes, my Jax Umaga is still better in terms of, in terms of the impression. Alright, so let's take a look at the figure. Here he is. Focus. There you go. And that's a very nice likeness to Umaga. And what was a really nice touch was they actually got his silver teeth. I don't know if you can see that, but they got his silver teeth. Oh my god. Very well done. The detail on the tattoos. Fantastic. It says Samoa right there. He's got the full arm tattoos. Even the tattoos on his hands. Now, this is also a nice touch. Thank you, Mattel. The Samoan Spike. We've been demanding a fist mold for the knockout punch from the Big Show. And so far we haven't gotten, but thank God we got the thumb mold for the Samoan Spike. Because whoever plays with their figures or makes stop motions, they need this mold for the Samoan Spike. Alright, so let's take off his removable sarong. It's just buckles in the front. Awesome. Here's his pants. Got a nice picture of Umaga right there. It says Umaga down the pants. His tattoos. And I think this is the same feet mold as the um, Elite 27 Rikishi and the uh, Elite Yokozuna figures. Turn around. There's the back tattoo. Again, very nice. Now let's do a comparison to my Jax one. Oh, before we do that, let's take a look at the package. Food Sarong, Umaga, Flashback. Nice picture of Umaga. On the back, same thing. Get the camera up a little bit. There we go, a nice picture of Umaga. Since this is a, fla since this is a Flashback, I wish they would have included the the old scratch logo like they did on the Elite 39 Godfather. Like, I really wish they would have done that. Because we still had the old scratch logo when Umaga was in the WWE. Now you can pause it right there if you want to read his stats. There we go. Pause right there if you want to read. Other figures in the series, we got John Cena. Tyson Kidd, Sami Zayn, Ravishing Rick Rude, and Flashback, first time in the line, IRS. What figures were I plan on getting, you may ask? All of them. They knocked it out of the park with Elite Series 40. Now, a lot of you guys have been asking me this question. What is my favorite Elite Series? You're looking at it. Elite Series 40. Originally, it was Elite Series 29, and then it went to Elite Series 33. Now it's Elite Series 40, and I think pretty soon it's going to be Elite Series 41 with that Lita and Finn Balor. <laughs> Can't wait. All right, now let's do some comparisons. Here is the Mattel Elite Series 40 Umaga next to my Ruthless Aggression Jax Umaga. As you can see, different in the skin tone. Now this is where the, the big debate comes in for me. Which one is the better head scan? Skin tone, I give it to the Mattel one because they got it right. The Jax one, they got it too dark. 
Expression, I give it to Jax. Likeness, that looks like Umaga, I give it to Mattel. And what's cool is he has more tattoos. Because this figure is based off of his like, 2008 run, and I think this one's like 2009. Because that's the only time I remember him having these chest tattoos. If I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong. And also, he's got the hand tattoos on the Mattel one. The Jax one does not. Very nice. Now, that's what I hate about Jax whenever they included uh, uh, feet molds on their figures is that the big toe is too spaced out. With Mattel, they've never done that. Good. Let's look at the thumb mold. Yeah, I think that's my only complaint about the Elite one is they did not cover up his whole hand because his hand used to be completely covered when he had his hand taped up for the Samoan Spike. So anyways, let me know in the comment section below, which figure do you think is best? The Jax Umaga that I have here, or the Elite Series 40? I'm going with the Elite Series 40. But just like any other Jax figures, they do have their pros and cons. So for expression, I'm going with the Jax. For likeness, detail, and skin tone, I give it to Mattel. Now for the thumb mold... For the Samoan Spike, I give it to Jax because they covered up his whole hand and it looks a little bit more realistic. And let's get with the box out of the way. Now let's compare Umaga to his other family members. First up here he is next to his brother, if I'm not mistaken, Rikishi. Oh, I apologize, I made a mistake. Uh, Rikishi did not have foot mold. I meant Yokozuna, sorry. And here he is next to the Hall of Fame Series 2, Yokozuna. Yeah, that's what I meant. Same foot mold. Now, I've always wondered this. Yeah, what is up with this on the bottom of the foot? And does Umaga have that? Yes, because it's the same foot mold. I don't mind it that much. Because it gives him more stability, I guess. Anyways, there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed my review. I give this figure a 10 out of 10. Definitely one of the best figures of 2015. This is definitely in my top 5 for best figures of 2015. Love this figure. My favorite figure from Elite Series 40. Oh my god. So glad that my parents chose to buy this for me. And I was actually surprised they even gave it to me early. As an early Christmas present. I'm so glad to have it in my collection. So happy we finally got a Mattel Umaga. Solid 10 out of 10. If you're a fan of Umaga, this is a must-have in your collection. Especially if you're a fan of the of the Anawaii family, which includes The Rock, The Usos, Yokozuna, Wild Samoans, Rocky Johnston, and others. Like If you're a fan of that family, this is also a must-have. Awesome figure. Solid 10 out of 10. Fantastic. Thanks for watching, guys. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think about this figure. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Take care.